I gotta say, sewing isn't my forte, but maybe it is for Barbie. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, I'm Stella, and I love making miniatures for Barbie's dollhouse using mainly cardstock. In today's video, I'll show you how to make this miniature sewing machine for your dolls, and as always, I have a free printable template to help you make your own version. You'll find all the infos and the download link in the video, so now let's get started. Cut this part of the template and set it aside for a second. Then cut this part several times and glue all the elements together in groups of two or three layers. As usual, I suggest using cardstock stuck from all the packagings for this. Repeat this process until you have at least 8 or 10 pieces, then attach them to the little base we set aside earlier. Next, cut this little rectangle and glue it to the rest of the structure. Now cut this part into lightweight cardstock and glue it on top of the other pieces. And here's a little trick. If you press a cardstock against a wet sponge, it will be a lot easier to shape it without ruining it. Now cut this part several times and glue the elements in groups of 3 or 4 layers. In the end, you should have at least 4 pieces. Then cut this part twice, glue the two layers together and finally attach the resulting piece to one of the parts we made earlier. Next, cut this part into cardstock and attach it to this one. Then glue the remaining 3 elements to the same base. And you should end up with this. Now cut this rectangle into a lightweight cardstock, dampen it with water and glue it to the previous piece. And here's another little tip. You can use a nail file to smooth out any unevenness in the edges. Cut this part a bunch of times and attach all the layers together. The final piece should be just a little over a centimeter in thickness. Then cut this part into copy paper and glue it around the previous piece. Finally, attach these two elements together. Now cut this part a few times and once again stack the elements together in groups of 3 or 4 layers. Make at least 4 pieces, then glue them to this part of the template. Next, cut this piece into lightweight cardstock and glue it around the previous one. Now cut this part several times and, well, you know the drill by now, stack the layers together to make 4 or 5 identical pieces. Attach them to the bottom of the part we assembled earlier. Then cut this part and glue it around this base structure. And just a reminder, if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette cutting machine, you can use my digital templates, which you can find in my shop, linked in the description box. And if you're considering buying your first machine, or you simply want to try a new tool, or even just get replacement mats, I have some good news! I just became a Cricut affiliate, so if you want, you can use the links pinned in my comments or description box, and that's going to support my channel, which I would be very grateful for. At this point, we can attach these two parts together, like this. And finally, we can glue this top part to the base. It's time to add some details to the surface of our little sewing machine. Cut this part into copy paper. Hold it like this and glue it to the machine's base. Then cut these parts into lightweight cardstock and glue all the elements in place this way. And just so you know, I thought it would be useful to make a list of all the supplies I like to use for my miniatures, like this set of cardstock that I'm using here, and in case you need it, you can find it in the description box. Also, here's another trick. If you notice little gaps like this on your little sewing machine, you can fill them with gesso or with 3D paint. I used the homemade 3D paint I made last winter for my miniature gingerbread house. At this point, we can cover the sewing machine with acrylic gesso. This will even out the surface and make it easier to varnish. I decided to use resin for this because I just bought it and I'm a little bit obsessed with it, but you can also use clear nail polish and it would look pretty much the same. Now that the base structure is done, we can begin adding more details to our miniature sewing machine. Cut this part into metallic cardstock and this part into black paper, which in my case is simply a piece of copy paper painted with a black marker. Attach the metallic part on top of the black rectangle, then glue the resulting piece to the sewing machine. Now cut this strip into paper, then take an eye pin or a piece of metal wire and roll the strip around it, like this. Repeat this step twice. Then cut this part and glue it to one of the metal pieces. Now cut this little rectangle, attach it to the sewing machine and finally glue the two metal parts on top of it. Next, cut this strip, glue it to the sewing machine. Then use a black marker to draw these short lines. Then cut this part into metallic cardstock and glue the two elements on top of the sewing machine. Now cut this part glue the elements in pairs, and finally attach the resulting pieces to the sewing machine's top. 
you can add a little detail to these wheels with a pen or a marker. To make a spool of thread, cut it too thick to fit the small slot on top of the machine. Then wrap a piece of sewing thread around the toothpick, adding little dots of glue as you go. Secure the spool in the slot with glue, then attach the loose end of the thread to this part. Now take a couple of small beads, paint them silver, and finally glue them to the sewing machine's top. Next, cut this circle a few times and stack the layers together to create a small cylinder that's around 4mm thick. Then cut this strip into paper and glue it around the cylinder this way. Cover the resulting piece with acrylic gesso and a clear glass varnish. Then glue it into this little hole in the machine's side. Now cut this part into cardstock and attach the two layers together like this. Repeat the same step for this part. Then glue the final pieces to the side of our miniature sewing machine. I decided to add a little design to the bottom with a white pen. Next, print this part and attach it to the front of your little sewing machine. Then cut these little buttons and glue them in place this way. Now print this part, cover it with a piece of clear tape and cut it as close as possible to the designs. Soak them in water for a couple of minutes. Then gently scratch off the paper from the clear tape. Attach the resulting stickers to the front of the machine. I also decided, and this was sort of an afterthought, to add a little pink dot to the control wheels on the machine's top. To make a pedal for a sewing machine, cut this part and fold its sides like this. Then take a piece of sewing thread, secure one of its ends with a knot, and insert it into this little hole. Fix it in place with a drop of glue, then glue all the tabs to create the base of the pedal. Lastly, cut this part and glue it on top of the other, and our miniature sewing machine is ready. As promised, here's the link to the free printable template, and let's be honest, there's no sewing without ironing, so if you want to give your dolls a cute little iron and ironing board, you can learn how to do it by watching this tutorial next. And this is all for today's video, until next time, bye!